So I'm going to turn this piece of scrap wood of plywood into my roll joint and also I'm going to mount the drop leaf hinges on to be able to show you. All right, got my board screwed in to my workbench area, so that's not going to move. All right, so I did my lip and we have nine thirty seconds of an inch. It's almost three sixteenths. And so there's our our lip there. And now we're going to go ahead and do our cove bit to interlock these boards. Right, so now we need to loosen the bits with these two wrenches. Okay. So we're taking out our roundover bit and putting in our cove bit. Now that it's tightened, let's go ahead and cut our edge. All right, so we had to flip our board upside down. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the height so that we can be sure that we're not doing too much at one time. All right, let's, so let's take a pause and see how we're matching. That's pretty close. It's not perfect, but that actually might be the best we're gonna get. So that's actually pretty good. So now we're gonna go ahead and sand this down so that it has a nice smooth finish. All right, so now we have the boards facing how they should be. And you can see our nice cuts. This is gonna be our center board of our table, and this is your drop leaf. And so, as you can tell, you know, this is just a quick demo just to show you, so it's not perfectly matching and flush and everything, but we got it, the table in the upright position and then it's gonna come down, it's gonna hinge like that. So, what we need to do is flip this over. Now we're gonna go get our hardware, our hinges. We're gonna put two hinges onto this rule joint. Okay, so we have our, our boards facing upside down. This is my center board, and this is my drop leaf. So once you have them, them in the right position, you're gonna to wanna to decide how far apart you want your hinges. The thing to note with these hinge, these uh, drop leaf hinges, which are made specifically for drop leaf tables, is that you want the shorter side to go on the center uh, board side and the longer side to go on your drop leaf. Okay, and also you want your your uh, you want your hinge knuckle to face inward, and we're going to have to route that out. But for the purpose of getting this where we want it. I'm just going to quickly measure. So the main thing is that we're consistent in where we put these hinges. And I'm also going to leave a little mark where our hinge knuckle will be. Okay, so we can take those off. A lot of people will tell you you have to, you have to route out this edge so that the the drop leaf hinge can rest inside. I'm purposely not going to do that because I feel that by not routing out uh, the mortise, you know, mortising where the the hinge is going to lay, is it's going to hide the hinge more. Um, with, with the drop leaf. But we do need to go ahead and mortise out uh, this knuckle. So uh, something like that is what we need. And I'm also gonna go ahead, instead of tracing this, something 
And something else you can do is you can actually go ahead and screw in some pilot holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and get our router and we're gonna route out this edge here. All right, so I got my mortising bit and packaging calls it a straight bit. So, but it, the important thing is that it's a fourth inch uh, wide. So, we're gonna go ahead and route out where the hinge knuckles go. And because I'm routing and I need more uh, space, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw down these boards. But if you're working with a bigger board, obviously you can use uh, these wood clamps like I have. But for the purpose of this, again, I'm gonna use screws. I don't have any, enough space to route. It ain't pretty, but we just gotta make sure it fits nice. So, as you can tell here, we're still a little bit short. Actually, I need to go this way. I'm getting caught up on the corners. I'm gonna drill a little bit more. All right, so I mortised out a little bit more and it fits perfect. Now we'll be able to screw on these screws and we're gonna go ahead and go to that point now. All right, so we got our hinge in place. So now, okay, so it's a little tight um, and that can be normal. Okay, I can't even bend this. So what we need to do, we don't wanna force the wood because then it might break. So we're gonna take the cove bit and we're gonna take a little bit more off of this, this uh, drop leaf side. All right, so we just want to adjust the height ever so slightly. We really don't wanna go by much at all. I'm just gonna go a couple notches here. So after you trim it, you don't need to screw it back in. You can just hold the, the hinges in the place that they should belong and see how it does. So you can tell it's a lot better, but it's still binding. So we're gonna repeat this process until it's it opens smoothly. All right, so here is my roll joint with my drop leaf hinge. That is functional now. And then here's my drop leaf hinges, as you can see. And so, unfortunately, I had to make quite a bit of uh, cutting and shaving off of this. And so this wasn't like I intended it. And so I'm going to perfect this in my, um, my other video of how I'm making my aquarium sand. So check out this link here for how I made my fish aquarium stand. And it's going to have a much better roll joint than this. This was just a demo to show you guys the idea and show you how to go about it. But again, it's uh, using, using the router right there with your roundover bit and your cove bit. And so I hope you all enjoyed this video, found it helpful and informational. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And stay tuned for more videos and especially uh, the video of me completing the fish aquarium stand. As always, I am a handyman for the average man. Y'all take care. Have a good day.